Hey everyone, Shea Bear 1000 here. As you can see, in the 2000 Nissan Xterra, we have a check engine light on. So what I'm gonna do today, Monkey bought me this through Timu, I don't know how much she gave for it. Um, it's the V100 OBD2, and this is her dad's. It's the Actron OBD2 pocket scan. It's the CP125. We're gonna see if these are accurate. I know this one's accurate, but it's getting hard to read on the screen. So, we're going to uh, scan the codes with this first, and then we're going to uh, check and see if this comes up with the same codes as this. Now, there's a couple features on this that I do like. Well, one anyway. But this one feels a lot lighter than this one. But uh, anyway, we're going to put this Timu scanner up against the Actron. So um, I got the truck running. Always make sure you have a good battery in. I'm going to let it get up to operating temperature or close to it. But always make sure you have a good charged battery, which this one don't. So I'm going to, once we shut it off, I'm going to uh, leave the battery charger on it so I can get a good solid reading. This does come with a manual that's in multiple different languages, so that's good. And this is the book with all the codes, with all the codes in it for the Actron. Now, this one doesn't have codes, but it's supposed to tell you what it is. So you don't have to look at the book. But we'll find out. So let's hit the intro, and uh, let's see which one of these. We'll see if uh, one's better than the other, or if they're about the same. So stick around, let's get into it. Okay guys, we've got the Actron. You can read that a little bit. Pocket scanner in here, we've got it plugged in. On this, it's right underneath the uh, fuse box on the driver's side, right beside the door. We're gonna turn the key on. Okay, the key's on. Now we're gonna push read. And it is scanning. So we're gonna see if this thing comes up with any phantom codes. The phantom code, guys, is a code that don't exist. And usually if you start getting a bunch of uh, phantom codes, um, I need to get a pen. Uh, that's pretty much your computer telling you, look, I'm confused, I don't know what's going on here. So we got a P0325. Um, let me find a pen so I can write this stuff down. Okay, we got that one written down. P0325, arrow down. And we got a P0443. Let me write it down. So we know 0443. And so it's only got two codes. Alright, that's good now. I'm not gonna erase them. I'm gonna shut the key off. Now I'm gonna unplug this. Now we're gonna plug our new one in here that monkey bought for me. Alright. Nice bright read out here. So all right, let's turn the key on. And then we have to go to 
OBD. We're going to hit. We're going to hit OK. Waiting for vehicle to respond. It says linking to vehicle. Okay, now we're going to. It comes up as read codes. Now, what I like about this is it has a real time curve. That means it'll give you temperature, it'll give you how your speed, how fast you're going. Like, for instance, if you suspect your speed sensor is going out and your speedometer's off or something like that, you can check it out on this. So, here's your vehicle info. But let's go to read codes. We're going to hit OK. And it's reading codes. It says no codes are stored. That doesn't make sense because you know that one just told us there's two codes. And we know there's a code because the check engine light's on. So let's read them again. And see, I don't like that. Reading codes, please wait. No codes are stored in the module. Press any key to continue. Okay, well, we know that's wrong. Uh, our check engine light's on. This gave us two codes. Um, let's go ahead and start this up. Let's go down to the real-time curve. There's a the car speed we're not moving, so calculate load value. Let's, let's just go to... Um, engine RPM engine RPM that's speed battery voltage let's try it okay so that's working between 14 and 15 volts that's good because that is what I got when I checked it with my own meter so let's exit out of that exit out of that back to real time i want to check the rp engine rpm it does this does have a tack in it it's reading about 900 rpm on the tack uh we'll give it a second and see but it's not coming up So it's not reading that. Let's try engine coolant temp. Sorry, I'm shaking. Negative 40 Fahrenheit. Yeah, that's not right. <laughs> it's not right at all. Better calculate load value. The only thing it's reading is battery voltage. So, turn key on with. So, what? I gotta type in a VIN? It's not get it's not this thing's not giving me anything. Data stream. It says it's uh, negative forty Fahrenheit. There's no way. Alright. Well, exit. Yes, I want to exit this. So, okay. Well, let me let me do some checking on this and read up. Maybe I got to type in a vehicle identification. I don't know, but let me check it out and we'll see. Okay, so yeah, it just says to do what we just did. It says plug it in, go to the OBD2, and hit read codes, and it's supposed to read the codes, and it's not. So, according to the Actron, we got a P0443. 
which is EVAP emission control system purge valve C fault. I'm betting this all has to do with the uh, with the wiring stuff. Um, and then we got a P zero three two five, which is knock sensor one circuit malfunction bank one or sensor. Okay, so I think that has to do with the uh, with the uh, with the wiring stuff under the hood. But let's see. Let's whoops. Let's go to erase codes. See, it doesn't give me enough time. And the key's on, engine off. Okay, so let's let's just unplug this. Let's exit out of this. Yes, exit. Okay, let's unplug this. We're gonna plug this in, and we're gonna clear the codes. I'm sure they'll come back, but let's see if this one. Well, first, let's start this up again. See if it cleared the codes. Okay, it did clear the codes. But it it was telling me there was no codes. Then how did it clear them? If there if it thought there was no codes, how's it going to clear a code? It doesn't make sense. So it did clear them. All right, let's shut this off. Let's plug this in. We're going to turn the key on. Now we're going to scan. It is scanning. See, this is why I can't hardly read it anymore. But it, it, it this thing does work fine. I can't plug the other one into. I could probably try to plug it into the Chevy when she gets back. See, no codes. Good. But there's no codes in it. But we can see if it'll do real time on that. But, uh, yeah, I'm not... I'm not liking that I can't read codes in this Nissan. And apparently, there was codes in it because it cleared them. And we had a check engine light on. You guys saw that. And it did shut the in check engine light off, but it wasn't giving me any codes. That does not make sense. So, um, I mean, I'll plug it into the Chevy and see if I can get real-time curve on it. I don't know. We'll just have to see. Hang on, guys, and I'll be back with you. Okay, guys. Monkey's back. We're in the Chevy Traverse. Let's plug the Actron in. Sorry about the background noise, but tire company's uh, trimming some trees. There we go. All right. It's got power. Let's turn the key on here. And let's hit read, no codes. That's good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to plug the new one in. We're going to see if it comes up with any codes. And it shouldn't. But we're going to try and see how the uh, real-time curve is going to work on this. So, turn the key on. OBD. No codes found. All right, now, let's exit out of this. And... Let's start it up. It's running. Alright. Turn the radio down so I don't get copyrighted. It was $13.99. $13.99, okay. Monkey just checked out. Just looked up the. This was $13.99, so $14. Bucks. 
Okay, so let's go to. She just got home, so let's go to cool engine coolant temperature. It's working. It's 181 degrees. That's about right. Hundred and eighty three, yeah, so that's about right. So let's go to All right now let's go to engine RPM <laughs> Excuse me. So that's about right. It's we're gonna call it around six hundred. And that's about what that's reading, so that's good. Now let's exit out of this. See, we can't check the speed because, uh, you know, I'm not, we're not running. Battery voltage, almost 15 volts, that's about right. So good. So it does work on this, so I don't know if it's going to read any codes on this, seeing as how we have no codes on this car to read. <laughs> so, all right, exit. Okay, so there we go. Um, but guys, I cannot recommend this. I just can't recommend it because this thing read the codes on the Nissan over there. This one said no codes, yet it cleared the codes that were in there out. So, I can't recommend this thing. What if you have that car? What if I bought that just for that car? It's telling me no codes. And I know there's a code when there's a check engine light on. I can't recommend that. It doesn't work on the Nissan. So, uh, it's a 2000 Nissan, so it should read the codes because this one did, and that cleared them. So, if that thought there was no codes, how could it clear the codes that it thought it didn't have? Right? Don't make sense. Okay, guys, so, yeah, there's what they're doing there trimming the trees off the power lines so anyway guys thanks for watching i appreciate it making some beef stew tonight well i got it cooking now it's going to take about two hours so anyway sorry about the background noise but you know they're just doing their job i'll see you guys in the next one again i can't recommend that you know if it doesn't work on the nissan but the actron does there's, there's a problem there. It says there were no codes, yet it erased codes. Doesn't make sense to me. All right, guys, so thanks for watching. I appreciate it. We'll see you in the next one. Shea Bear, the Myth Man legend. Gone for now. Bye-bye, guys. Take care. Enjoy the rest of your weekend.